Dirt Cleaner videos. It's uh, December 26th, the day after Christmas, so Merry Christmas to everybody and Happy Holidays to everybody else. Um, today we're going to do a real quick video. I promise this is not going to be a 60 minute video. We're going to keep this one short. I am just going to show you one trick that I use to help put rocks in my slab saws so they don't uh, move around and damage your blades and lose stones and stuff like that. So we'll get right to it. I'll show you. First, I'm working on a piece of uh, Grand Canyon onyx. I've got it in the saw. I've made a couple of cuts on there and just getting it uh, in a position so I can make a sphere out of it. That's what I do. I make a lot of spheres. But I'll show you the real problem I ran into is I tighten the carriage up on the rock. I've only got one small point of contact right here. And it's just not enough. I tighten this thing down and this thing wobble all over. So, what do you do about that? One, I could take a hammer, I could just chip that corner off, I could turn this with a saw, make another cut. Uh, I don't really prefer either option right now. So, here's what I do. Excuse me while I back up a minute. I'm going to open the uh, carriage up a little bit to open the vise. And I reach over there. And I pick up a hockey puck. Hockey pucks are great. They're really hard. There's a little bit of give to them though. So they really are nice at conforming to rocks. Let's see, you can open it up a little bit more. I'll just stick that in here because that's going to give me enough surface between here and there to hold this thing straight. I like to plant these down pretty tight in here. I got no movement of the rock, so I'm ready to rock and roll. Another good thing about using uh, hockey pucks is you don't just have to use a whole hockey puck. Like I did on this other one, I just cut it, took a band saw and zipped it off. You could take a hand saw, just about anything you want, a skill saw, uh, reciprocating saw, whatever. You're going to cut through this, and I needed just a little wedge, which I have since lost in one of the tanks of my saws, but I'll make another one if I need it. But this one may come in handy one day as it is. So go get yourself two, three, four, five hockey pucks, whatever it is, start with one. Don't be afraid to cut them. They cut easy, as simple as it can be. You cut them, you can cut them right in your rocks out, no problem. So that's what I use. Little, there we go. There. So that's it. That's my little trick for the day. Uh, if I have more of those, I will uh, bring them to you. So that's it for now. Again, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody. Go ahead, hit the like button, uh, subscribe. There's a button for that too. Leave a comment uh, or whatever. And we'll see you next time right here at Superior Lapidary.